Neil Dixon is Chief Executive of the NHS Confederation, the body that speaks on behalf of the health and care system and joins us now live, as you can see. Thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, on Sky News this afternoon. You've heard what the leader of the Liberal Democrats has had to say about this. It is a problem that we saw coming. Why has nothing done about it before now? Well, it's been a problem that's been coming for a very long time. In fact, there was a report in around 2008 which identified the need for additional social care funding. And, and frankly, since then, things have gone from bad to worse. So we're now in a position where over a million elderly people are not getting the help that they need. And actually, the proportion of elderly people who are receiving help has gone down by around a third over the last five or six years. So we are in a situation where social care, it tends to be forgotten, and I speak for NHS organisations, not for social care organisations, but social care tends to be forgotten. And the reason why it's sort of moved up the agenda is actually because of the huge pressure that it's putting on the NHS, because the health service can't cope with the elderly people who are coming into the uh, NHS uh, and those facilities are, are, are putting them better, as it were, where they can, but then they can't get them back down into their own homes again because there isn't the social care support. And they could be prevented, some of them could be prevented from going into hospital in the first place if we had the right community services to support them in the first place. So the call for additional funding is absolutely right. This is an area where uh, I think it, it, it's pretty clear that whatever efficiencies could be put into that system, uh, and there probably are, and the certainly better joined up care could be, uh, provide a better service all round. There's no doubt that this particular component is underfunded. Okay. Uh, we have an ageing population that is going to continue. Um, no amount of money is going to stop that happening. Is there a workable solution? Is it just down to money? Or do we need to rethink the way that uh, social care is uh, adopted, not only in the National Health Service, but also uh, from, I suppose, local authorities? Well, I think you're absolutely right. It, it's not either or, it's, it's both and. So there is an, a need for extra money, but it's also incumbent upon those providing social care and indeed the NHS to have a more joined up system than they've had in the past, uh, that we get the payment, and this is a government thing or a national thing, but getting the payment systems right. So there isn't an incentive for more and more activity in hospitals, but actually we're encouraging more care in the community and the system has frankly not been designed to do that. So there is a need for reform, pretty fundamental reform. There's a need for these organisations at local level to get together, and they are starting to do that now, frankly, in a way that's not been attempted before. And they need to do that urgently. But at the same time, they can't get on and do that unless there is the funding to try and make these services more effective. Okay, but if the funding isn't forthcoming, and we know we are uh, living in austere how do we start to try to resolve these issues? It, it is about bed blocking, isn't it? And, and that uh, then percolates down to the rest of the National Health Service as well. When do uh, local, health local councils start to step in to realise that they do need to be able to offer social care for people who don't need to be in hospital, but they have nowhere else to go? So there is that issue of bed blocking. I visited a ward a couple of weeks ago, which is full, absolutely full, of people who are medically fit, but that they can't get out into the community. And, that, and that, that's a gross waste of money, because it's much more expensive keeping them in hospital than it is getting them out. Now, I know, again, councils are responding. They are trying to, do, to uh, free this system up. But I think, yes, there's probably more that they can do. There's also more that the health service can do in providing community services at local level which will help keep people in their own home. And then there are small practical things you can do. In one area, apparently, they've given elderly people uh, a bag which has their clothes in it, which has all their information about it. And when that goes with them from the hospital into the community, it helps the, the next lot of carers understand what's happened and to look after that elderly person better. And the effect of that has actually been to reduce the length of stay, which is really important in terms of saving money. So there are there are projects, there are things you can do to make the services more joined up than they are now. Indeed so. It's good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us on Sky News. This